It's your boy. It's the DLC. Coming at you. Um, I don't know. I, I, What's going on? It's too early. <laughs> yeah, it is. Shit. I find that it is always too early, no matter what time it is. Yeah. Went to bed at 10 o'clock last night. That was pretty early for me. Do you have a disease? I was just tired. I was just... That's... just. Are you, were you tired of all this horse shit? I think it was the heat. Oh. It was very hot yesterday. Uh, well, how can I help you? Well, you need to ride a strip. Well, that's true. Man, I wonder how Battle Chasers is on Switch. It's downloading now. So I'll know oh, soon. really? Uh-huh. Oh, that's savory. That's what I need. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, mean, I see a lot of Nightwear review out on Switch today, but it's like I don't know if they're talking specifically about the Switch version. That's what I want. Right. I want them to tell me about the Switch. Man, I had such a good time when we were playing that. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the stream. Holy shit. Well, and I was playing it right when it first came out on PS4. I don't even think you were playing it right. Thanks. You know what I mean? All right. Sure. Uh, but anyway, I, there were some technical issues, and I had a couple crashes, and so I stopped playing it. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, that's the thing that or early on, especially sort of, like, it's it's more indie. Oh, yeah. Right? It was funded on Kickstarter, right? I mean, it's going to be, like, there's going to be aspects of that stuff that are going to be challenging. I usually like to wait a couple months before, but there's no way to wait for that one. No, I had to play it right away. But anyway, so I stopped playing it and just figured I'll pick it up again and play it when it comes out on the Switch, so... I'm excited to dive back in there. Oh, man. i got to close this. i got to close it. I can't look at this intro video. I just want to have it. I just want it to be real. So we... You know who did that intro video? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, powerhouse. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Old Powerhouse. Old Powerhouse. Uh, we, say, we are saying Old Powerhouse. Oh. Uh, is there another one in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Now. I have no idea what we were talking about. Oh, um, there's a lot to sign in yeah. here. Yeah, there is. I think we have another five, maybe 600 yeah, automata have, scripts. I'm going to have some time today. I'll be watching uh, Acquisitions Intoxicated and signing. Oh, see, that'll, that'll, that's going to provide you with real comfort. Yeah. My dad's going to come in today and drink some of your beer. Today? Well, hope, hopefully we got something... Of ours to tap. If not, he can he can uh, try a little cup of something I brought from home. Okay, something I brought up from uh, Russian River. He can try that blind pig. That'll that'll learn him. I don't know what any of that means. So, Russian River is a brewery, and blind pig is a is a drink. Got it. I mean, I I'm good at context clues. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> let's see. Uh, Streep. Streep. Meryl Streep. Let's guess. We just did it. We just got on this magicians thing. And we, there was a period of time where we had envisioned a framework for determining, in the manner of hot or not, uh huh, a framework for determining quality, relative quality, and the the two categories that we that we asserted in that original argument, yeah, were plumps, uh huh, and chumps, chumps. Now yeah. chumps, that makes sense, um. I think we know that that's bad. You don't. Nobody wants to be a chumps. No, but if you're not, like, hey, that skateboard is plumps. <laughs> I that's ambiguous. It. I feel like it's deeply ambiguous. I mean, you only know that it's supposed to be the golden because you know about chumps. <laughs> Again, context clues, right? If you say, hey, skateboards are for plumps, rollerblades are for chumps. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know, know everything you need. Yeah, to know. I was just gonna say that's just unfolded for me now. Yeah, I got all the data. Someday that'll happen. We're gonna make it happen. We just need to start using it in conversation. Yeah, agreed. All right, so uh, that may not give us the, the the content we need, though. Probably not. That's my suspicion. Um, let's see. Well, what's what's going? What do we feel good about? I mean, mm. honestly, like I'm looking at the. Those who are listening on the podcast, I'm just going to give you a sense of my visual field. It is completely full of boxes that either have <laughs> things to sign or are emptied of things that have been signed on the ground or uh, have additional things in them that all need to be managed. That is, I would describe that as distinct from my ordinary tasks, which also require completion. And then, 
Um, yeah, I was trying to figure out like getting all these done this week. I, no, I I don't think it's impossible. Yes, yeah, I, th- I think that we have to just like we did for the um the Blu-rays for Automata. I think that we have to have like we have to get a groove. Yeah, we have to get a uh, a a good documentary about a obscure topic. Right, that still has a lot of heart, mm-hmm. and then we <laughs> put it right on there, and then we get at it. Yeah, we get at it. Um, but then on Thursday, of course, then we've got even more signing, if you can believe it. Even more signing. For the Thorn Watch. So that'll be different. I feel like that'll be different from, well, from I think so. From and this. that's in the hundreds. I don't think it's in the... Yeah, yeah. And they're also... And, it's, they're, and the, they're physically large, too. Yeah. And independent. Yeah. Right? All right, so let's... let's Comic strip. Let's figure out the flavor. Did anything hilarious happen during your wine tasting vacation? No. I would say no. No. It... it it operated more or less uh, according to plan, okay. but that's because Ryan was in charge of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> having 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 the director of events for PAX uh, invite your... you on a vacation <laughs> he has planned is is really pretty amazing. Yeah, I bet. I and mean, it was basically like, imagine that there was like a you got in line for a Disneyland ride, and then it just the ride went through California wine country for three days, <laughs> and then you got <laughs> off. That's what happened. Wow. It was crazy. I don't even know anything about wine. I'm just fucking give it. Yeah. Give it to me. Put it in here. Is that red? Great. <laughs> you don't mind drinking it though? No. Yeah. No. I'm because I'm trying to figure it out. Like it's it has a it's very, very complicated. And there's a range of, of beers called sours. I heard you guys talking about those on the last show. It sounds crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to drink anything that looks like it has spider webs yeah, on it at any point. It's a whole thing. But I mean it's very there's some overlaps. At that tier of um, brewing and, and winemaking, mm. on the sour side, in terms of flavor profile, and and in some cases, in terms of the spontaneous like fermentation, like you don't necessarily have to inoculate it; it just gets fucked up yeah. by something, and then <laughs> and you drink that, yeah, and you and you squeeze it out, <laughs> you squeeze it out. <laughs> Ugh! But I didn't know about caves. Like they keep a, they have a lot of these places have caves, like man made. Caverns, man-made caves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man-made to keep the wine in to or store something? it. Yeah, because oh, it's super consistent. Like the yeah. temperature underground is very consistent. It turns out huh. it was ballin. Yeah, I bet it was ballin. Um, let's see. Mm. Yeah, but the idea that you would go on a wine tasting vacation and not remember it, I guess, is on brand. Yeah, that's true. Man, I gotta get a hold of this Beat Saber. What? Have you seen it? I didn't know what you're talking about. Beat Saber. You don't know about it? No. Get a load of it. So you know how in uh, like a rock band type thing, mm-hmm. the notes come down and then you push the button on the guitar, or you put you hold down the strum and then you or you hold down the fret and then you strum mm-hmm. the little bar wong wong. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so imagine instead that the notes are coming down. Oh, actually, you know what? It's like a combination of of dance dance revolution and rock band. So well, I guess I guess Rock Band is already a version of Dance Dance Revolution with a different input mode. But <laughs> here, <laughs> let me okay. let me st- let me start over. <laughs> Imagine that a computer could and a, fuck a and man. a bird. <laughs> no, so uh, the symbols come toward you. This is in VR. Let's keep okay. that in mind. The symbols that you need to in- that you need to do the inputs for are coming toward you, okay. but they have a color uh-huh. and an arrow, and in your hand. Are two lightsabers, okay? Of each, you have one of each color, right? And so when they come, you have to slash through them oh, as, as they slash c- up in yeah, that yeah, color yeah, yeah. or down, or both down, left and right. Hmm. It looks fun Beat as saber. hell. Like, okay. I have to get, I have to get it. Like I, I've, I've been watching it, and certainly, you know how sometimes, like when a game catches on, certainly in streaming or online, yeah. like there's usually going to be like best of type clips. Like watching really great people play it. Mm-hmm. Is pretty inspiring, but I don't have to play it that well in order to enjoy it as much as I'm gonna. Yeah, like, that I love pretty fun. I love rhythm shit. And, I de- and lightsabers work really well in VR as yeah. an input type. <laughs> All right, so is it an opportunity where now you get to? It's like now that it's out on Switch, you can play again for Night War. Uh, yeah, maybe because you sort of you sort of like went into uh rest hibernation. Yeah, rest mode. I mean, honestly, a huge part of it too for me is the fact that I'm just now. You know, tweeting back and forth with Joe Mad, who's one of my, you know, well, there might childhood be childhood fucking heroes. Well, well, no, did you do it again? Yeah, really? What yeah, I've tweeted him a couple times. 
Because I follow you, but I haven't seen well, those he's tweets. D- we DM each other, dude. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Dude, he slid into your DMs. He slid into my. DMs. He's welcome to slide into my DMs anytime. But I yeah, love it's like I don't know. Like if you were making music with the guy from Tool now, <laughs> whatever, right? Like, yeah, his, that's Maynard James Keenan. All right, whatever. I don't. I just. I'm trying to think back when I was into him. What you were into? Right. No, dude. I, I feel like this. I feel like this is the right thing. I, f- I feel like the idea that like you're talking to him is like. Yeah, I haven't seen any of these conversations. Yeah. <laughs> I follow you, and I haven't seen any of these conversations. Unfortunately, I follow you, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> I haven't seen any of these conversations. Dude, we, we, hit each other, we hit each other in the DMs. Yeah, I think, that's, I think this is a good thing. Um, it, can, yeah, it can either be about that, or it can be about having waited for it, or it can just be about... It can be literally about Joe Mad worship. Like, I don't even care. Like, <laughs> that's been true forever. It has. Like, as long as I have known you. Yeah. Which is at this point a long fucking time. Yeah, you have like it's it's a respect. It's like it's like Steven Silver. Yeah, right. He is, he is one of my greats on my list up there. You know how it's like it goes Biggie, Tupac, Jay Z, and then and then me and then me. Right. But but what happens if if you're not on this list? Yeah, I'm not on the list. <laughs> I'm nowhere near my list. No, that. That opportunity would the opportunity there was to say that shit does not offend me. Oh, but okay, Sorry. fine. However, I was just trying to think reality. I'm not on my list. Oh hell no. Yeah. No no. What's funny is Eminem is on his own list. He's on his own list. <laughs> yeah. I think I think that's the distinction. It's like when I was watching that um, Rapture documentary. Some of those are interesting. Yeah. But some of them are also like, wow, I'm not anywhere near as driven as you. I I just want to do some cool stuff with my friends and go home. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't know about some of that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. They're on their own lists. Right. Like I am competing, like, for your attention. <laughs> I don't like. That's the only. That's the target market. Yeah. Because it takes a lot to impress you. It's a fun challenge. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. like the idea that it's just like I want to be known as one of the greatest entertainers of all time. It's like, well, that sounds hard. I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to bring your your boy's name up every debate. Yeah, exactly. It's like no, I don't. I don't feel anything like that. That's yeah. I would say that in many ways that's the opposite of what I'm looking for. I want to be left alone primarily, but I still want to be able to afford rent. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like it's like if you if you want to be the president, no one should ever let no you. No one should let you do it. <laughs> and I think it's the same here. You gotta be you, a psychopath. You want it too much. Yeah. You you're willing to do too much to get it. Yeah. Oh, that's got a sick flavor. That was coffee, I guess. Um, but yeah, if you if you were like, if Tycho was like, man, I've known you for 20, 20 years, and you've been a fan of of Joe Mad the entire time, and the only constant, and the only constant <laughs> is your fascination, yeah, your idolization. No, it was a fascination bordering on worship. <laughs> and now I see you fucking tweeting at this guy. But now he's, sli- and and now he's sliding into your DMs. And now he's sliding into your DMs. <laughs> no, it meant, that means a specific thing. It we really can't... does. I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> but it, it's just such a fun thing to say. Yeah. I wouldn't, honestly, I don't even know how to slide into someone's DMs. Like, if they don't follow you, you can't DM them, right? Well, it depends on how they have it set. Oh. Like, I mean, I have, I have mine set so that people can't slide in. Right. Not that anyone would. I'm not I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, hey, these are some great DMs you want to piece them. You want to slide into these? Yeah, exactly. Is there, is they're available. No, I mean I don't even honestly, like I've changed uh clients so many times for Twitter, like I don't even know where I would go to change it. I don't like, know how that works, yeah. No, I I'd use it to post dumb like dumb ideas. I definitely don't use it to allow a avenue of of personal abuse. No, thank you. Ugh. Uh, and the only, the only constant is your. Now I see you chatting with him on Twitter. Now I see you chatting with him on the tweeter. <laughs> no, now you're fucking, now you're fucking chatting, chatting with, with him, him on, on the, the tweeter. tweeter. <laughs> and the only constant has been your fascination, border on worship. But I'm gonna have to go look up Madeira, <laughs> Madeira. Yeah, I don't know how you spell it. M A D. I honestly don't There's even. A U. I, I don't even know how you say it. That's it's why I think M-A-D-U. everybody calls him Joe Mad. Yeah, e- even him. Even him, yeah. Madarera. There's I can... a surprising you. Yeah, when I every time I see that you, it's like a, it's like a ghost. Yeah, like what? <laughs> <laughs> you in there? Bordering on worship for Joe Madera. 
who is called Joe Mad. <laughs> and I see you chatting with him on the Twitter. Fucking chatting with him on the Twitter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Joe Mad, who is called by the elves. <laughs> <laughs> Who's known by the elves in the elvish tongue. No, who is known by elf kind. <laughs> and now you're fucking chatting with him on the Twitter. Yeah. What do you guys talk about? It's just, you know. <laughs> I, I, th- I like the idea that it was like, um, you know, is that is that a big deal? Or is I think, imagine if you were making music with that guy from Tool. Okay, you were talking about, <laughs> what's the guy's name? Oh, yeah, yeah, Mater James Keenan. <laughs> Mater James Keenan? <laughs> yeah, let's see. I mean, how, do you, how does that feel? I don't know. How would it feel if you were making music with that dude from Tool? The dude from Tool is named Maynard <laughs> James Keenan. <laughs> Keenan, and he also has a successful winery. <laughs> Does he really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's the funny part. Is that it's like a joke you would write. Yeah. I mean, how does that... I mean, how does that... How does it feel, does it feel? to tweet a god? <laughs> to tweet... You know, to, to know someone who was so formative... No, Tyga would say to tweet a god. To tweet a god. I'm keeping it. You tried. You tried to slide out of my DMs. Well, no, I'm trying to figure... I'm, I wonder if... Because I'm trying to compare him to Tool. Leave my DMs alone. I'm not going to fuck with your DMs. You know, is, the, is there an idea in there that this was someone who was, you know, at that period of time... Oh, no. no, no the idea is, is contained entirely in Gabe's response. Okay. Well, imagine if you were. It's all, yeah, yeah. It's all in there. Okay. Imagine if you were like, what if that dude from Tool sent you a Facebook message? I don't know how it feels if that showed up in your on your Facebook. <laughs> Imagine if you were like talking to the Tool, that guy from Tool, Tool guy, the Tool guy, <laughs> T- Tim the Tool Man. I mean Tim the, I mean Tim, not not Tim the Tool Man Taylor, like the, <laughs> the Tool guy. I don't mean like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Yeah, I mean, would say Tim Allen is the Tool guy. Yeah, you were yeah, exactly. talking about <laughs> no Tim Allen is the tool guy. <laughs> you were talking about <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hear me, devil! <laughs> Hear me, devil! Tim Allen is the tool guy. <laughs> you were talking about the musical genius, an award-winning vintner. Because <laughs> that's what he is. Yeah, I think. he's a vintner. Tim Allen. Hear me, devil! <laughs> Tim <laughs> Allen is the fucking tool guy. <laughs> you were talking about. Speaking of, you were speaking. No, award-winning vintner and musician. <laughs> now, I need to make very clear, very sure, I'm not going to update this fucking computer, Microsoft. Y- you know what? It's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Wow, you're living on the edge. Yeah, I can't help myself from falling. Let's see, I need, but I need to, if, if we're going to do this joke, I need to make absolutely sure. Now, of course, I spelled it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> that was never. That was never really in... Uh, it was debate. worth checking, though. Yeah. Here we go. I gotta make sure that I... Yeah, instruments, occupations. Yeah, winemaker. Is a winemaker different from a vintner? You're asking the wrong guy, man. Well, I suspect a vintner is maybe the person who... Ah, it's, yeah, yeah. Vin, we use it as a wine as a winemaker in the U.S. All right. You are speaking of or you speak of? You speak of, yeah. You speaking of? <laughs> That's the sort of thing I would leave in. Yeah. Here, I've known you for 20 years, and the only constant has been your... Has been... Your fascination, uh, bordering on worship, for Joe Madera, who is known by Elfkind as Joe Mad. And now you're fucking chatting with him on the tweeter. I mean, how does it feel to tweet a god? Well, imagine if you were, like, talking to the tool guy. <laughs> Hear me, devil. Tim Allen is the fucking tool guy. <laughs> you speak of award-winning vintner and musician James Maynard James Keenan. <laughs> no, that turned out good. When I cast the pot, it's like I cast the rod Giving it all like a motherfucker gas robot I'm really cod, today's fresh catch I mean a podcast, something about nets Yes, it gets better when it's winter I'm fettered by my fish gear Catch and release, get in that crease when my fish near Talk about a plant best laid off that stray And yes, I crave that tuna with his peck fins blade But while I'm glistening from the whole sea You better listen into TLC I got that, I got that wild caught salmon It's tender and it's moist Downloadable content, a podcast of choice 